David, uh, welcome. You found such a creative and, and extraordinary way to reach people in need. I wanted to share um, just a brief story. This is Edith. And when Refuge Point met her, she had survived the Rwandan genocide, even though her family hadn't, and she was living in an extreme situation in Nairobi. We helped her get to the US where she graduated from high school, college, celebrated her 21st birthday with Ellen and Andrew in their home in LA, graduated from nursing school, became a US citizen, came back to Nairobi to volunteer with Refuge Point to support other refugee children in need, uh, and now got married and has a baby daughter and just joined Refuge Point's board. And our goal is to find the most at risk refugees and enable them to rebuild their lives. And we have a few exciting updates. One is that with Becca and International Refugee Assistance Project, we are building a family reunion pilot project to reunite unaccompanied children with their parents. And there is potential for that to expand around the world. The Canadian government in another project reached out to us and asked us to help build a labor mobility project to connect refugees in Kenya with job opportunities in Canada where there are no Canadians who can fill those jobs. And our first arrivals should start happening in the next few months. And I'm actually eager to pursue some media opportunities in this. For those refugees who are stuck where they are indefinitely, we've built a self-reliance initiative with governments, the UN, foundations, nonprofits, and refugee-led organizations to help refugees stay stand on their own two feet and contribute to their communities and rebuild their lives in the places where they're stuck. And we aim to reach 5 million people in five years and it's a big growing initiative. We would not be where we are without the Charles Bronfman Prize. We're so proud to be part of this community and to welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome.